Hey there, and welcome back to another Dragon Prince video. And today, I want to talk about the character of Zim, and what his role will be going forward into Season 4 and beyond. And for those of you who have somehow forgotten, Azamondius, or Zim as he's usually referred to, is the title character of the show. Born shortly before the events of Season 1, Zim's story truly begins when the main antagonist Viren convinces King Harrow to assist him in the murder of the Dragon King Avizandum, Zim's father. Stolen from his mother as an egg, Viren keeps his existence a secret and plans to study the egg and potentially use it for a magical ritual. However, before anything too nefarious can occur, the Dragon Queen strikes back, sending elves to assassinate the royal family and succeeding in killing King Harrow. Meanwhile, Harrow's sons discover the existence of the egg and go on a quest to return it to its mother with an elf named Rayla. And along the way, the egg hatches and we meet baby Zim, before he's reunited with his mother and saved from having his soul sucked out by Viren and Erevos. So, it's safe to say he's had quite an adventurous life so far. But now I'm curious, where does he go from here? What will his storyline be going forward? Because he'll surely have increased relevance as the show progresses. After all, it's called the Dragon Prince. So you kind of need to assume that he's going to be involved in some capacity. And that involvement needs to be both plentiful and significant, because once again, he's the title character. It's not called the Human Prince or the Elf Girl, it's the Dragon Prince. He needs to be a very involved and relevant character going forward. But what will this involvement look like? What's he going to be doing? And honestly, if we're being realistic, it looks like not much to start off with. When last we saw Zim, he'd been recently reunited with his mother for the first time since his egg hatched, managing to pull her out of a coma and return her will to live. So now they're together, it would feel almost out of character for her to just let him go off on adventures without her. And it would also be a bit odd for the group to take a fully grown dragon with them on their adventures. So they can't really have mum come along, and they can't really have baby come along. So it's a little bit of a conundrum. What do they do with his character going forward? How do they address the fact that he needs to be a relevant character, whilst also balancing the fact that it doesn't make sense for him to go off on a world tour like they have for the first three seasons? And from my point of view, there are a few different options. The first one is quite straightforward. You have to separate Mum from Baby. Now it's clear that for at least the first portion of the season, Zim's going to be spending some time with his Mum. And from a narrative point of view, this just makes the most sense. You need to build up that bond so the audience is going to care about it. But then at the same time, I think it would also be a mistake to keep them together forever if he's going to take ages to grow. Because once again, the show is called Dragon Prince, not Dragon King. So I doubt we're ever going to see him be a full-grown dragon until some sort of epilogue at the very end. So that means, if we ever want him to be involved in the story to a significant degree, he needs to part ways with his mother. And there are two ways to go about doing that. The first, of course, being the killer off, which really isn't out of the realm of possibility. Remember that Harrow and Viren managed to take out the last king on their own. And Viren's still around. And Claudia is very powerful. I mean, she resurrected Viren and fixed up Soren's spine, so she's obviously one tough customer. And then on top of that, they have Erevos with them. And I mean, surely somebody who's being positioned as the main antagonist of the entire series should probably be somewhat powerful, no? So, killing off the Dragon Queen partway through the next season, or even at the end of the season, is definitely a possibility. But if they didn't want to go that far, just separate the two. Either through the Queen getting attacked and being badly wounded, the prince being kidnapped, or even the queen sending him off to go into hiding to protect him. And all of these scenarios also make a lot of sense, so you don't need to fret for the queen just yet. She isn't necessarily going to bite the dust. And this would actually be an interesting path to take, because he's still relatively weak and helpless, and would need to slowly grow over the seasons without another dragon to guide him. Kind of like how Callum's had to sort of puzzle his way through learning magic on his own, instead of having a mentor watching over him every step of the way. And this brings us to option two, which is a bit more straightforward. Dragons simply grow up fast. And so, during the course of the season, he quickly goes from a small little baby dragon that's largely incapable of looking after itself, to a decently sized adolescent dragon. Maybe the size of that raven thing that Ezrin flew around on. By having him grow larger more quickly, likely via magical means, it ensures that he can still remain a relevant character and involved with the plot without it seeming ridiculous or like he has stupid plot armor in order to keep him around. Plus, it would also explain why the queen would ever let him out of her sight. If he grows, he'd be far safer than if he was a baby. And then, of course, there's simply the tried and true time skip to get us where we need to go, where at some point during the story, we jump a significant period of time. 
And whilst I have gone over this in a previous video, I'll just repeat myself a little bit. Dragon Prince feels like one of those shows that kind of needs a time skip, simply because there just hasn't been enough growth on each of the characters' behalf throughout the first three seasons. And that's going to be especially noticeable with Zim, who's literally just a baby. He can't do anything. He can't talk. He can't fight much. He won't be able to stand up against Erevos and co. He just needs more time in the oven to develop into a relevant and useful character. He needs to have his own goals and objectives, his own opinions and desires. Because if he doesn't, then he just remains as a plot device character. A character that things happen to in order to push the story forward, but who has no agency in the narrative at all. And for such an important character in the story to have no function outside of being a victim that needs to be protected is for the most part quite ridiculous. And so, skipping ahead a few years and showing off what he's done in the meantime via flashback may be a more efficient way to show off his character development and turn him into a character that has a fully fledged and important role in the narrative. And so, that brings us to the end of the video. And I'd like to hear your thoughts. What do you think about Zim's character going forward? How are they going to handle him in the future? Is he going to be a fully fleshed out character or more of a plot device? I'm curious to hear your thoughts, so make sure to leave a comment and let me know.